So today we are going to be doing something for the sake of science. We're going to be using my 2-2 uh, Savage Arms Mark II, um, lovely little rifle, and we are going to be shooting a variety of items. So we're going to be using um, Winchester subsonic hollow points, uh, they're a 42 grain bullet, roughly moving at about 1150 feet per second. Um, going to be shooting at about 30 yards. So, um, yeah, let's get on. So, first up in the firing line, I've never actually seen one of these here, but it's a drinking coconut. Comes with this little bamboo stick thing. It's, um, that you're supposed to sort of poke. Should, should we try it? You gotta, oh. Oh, poke that in now. Oh, oh, oh. That was some noises. Smells like coconut. And then we get this cute little straw look. Let me add to that. Let's poke that in it. Pretty good. Stick this up against the 20 toe and see what happens. Mm. Mm. Ah. Alrighty, so we have our coconut all lined up down now. So this. Send one to it, eh? We've got the trusty old GoPro down there for the slow-mo. So it's all a little bit disappointing on the old coconut, to be honest with you. It didn't really do a lot. So, yeah, there we have. Entry, exit. Hmm. Anyway, moving on. Good old cantaloupe. See what happens. Do you reckon it's gonna burst? Or just go straight through? Let's find out. Let's do some science. That's right in the middle. Oh no, we've got a bit of guts guts that have come out so yeah entrance no actually that's the exit exit entrance so we got a little bit of uh, energy transfer there nothing too exciting but you know Let's dig inside and see what. Uh, oh, she's. Uh, yeah, God. She's a tough old girl. Wait. Let's let's deal with this appropriately. Yeah. We had a bit of internal ruptures. So that was a cantaloupe. Again, nothing too exciting, but let's just remember we are only 2-2, two -two, you know, and this is science. It's the fun part about science is you, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. I reckon 
pink grapefruit. That's next. So we got three of these Mama Germans and line up and uh, see what happens. I reckon these ones are going to be a little bit more explosive just because they're so small. So I think the energy transfer is actually going to do a bit more. Let's go set them up. Alrighty. So, pink grapefruit. Let's see what happens, shall we? Okay. Let in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, so uh, that one was at the back. This was first. So a fair bit of energy transfer there. Um, this is the second, all the way through. Did it go all the way through the third? So we've got the entrance. It did. Through and through. Three pink. Well, there we have it. What's next? Alrighty, so up next is a little can of uh, oh, spring water. That's all Liz from the land of the far horizons. Should be impressive. Can of spring water. Let's see what happens here. All right, so here we go. Sending it back to the land of the far horizon. In three, two, one. Yeah, all this walking back and forth. It's good for the old legs. Oh, there's a little bit more damage. Look here. Yeah. A fair bit of transfer there. It was only a small can, but there we go. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear, <laughs> she's drowned. I just give her a little bit of a wipe off there, the old girl. She's good as new. Hello, hello. So now the next one, I'm quite interested in. I'll tell you for the reason why. All I want to see if four loaves of bread is enough to stop a 22. So that's what we're going to do. Right, so we have uh, four loaves of bread lined up. Let's see, is four going to be enough to stop it? Let me know. You think it will stop? Or you think it's going to get off me? Dirty horse flies. Yeah, do you think you're going to stop? What do you think is going straight through? Let's find out. Okay. Making crumbs in three, two, 
One. Maybe not. We got a misfire. I'll just leave that pointing down range for a second. Get my handy dandy little screwdriver. Plump the little fella out. Yeah, so we had a strike, but no ignition. Let's try a, uh, a different one. Oh, I thought my thumb in, couldn't yeah. All right, let's try that one again. Right. Making crumbs in three, two, one. That's clear. Let's go again. This. What do you reckon we're going to have all the way through? Will it stop? It's a little bread train. So, entrance there, exit there, there's one loaf, entrance there, exit there. Entrance there. Ho oh, oh. We don't have an exit. Come out the sides. No. So I think. She stopped in here somewhere. So let's dig it open and find out. Dig in and uh, let's drag it all out. See if we can find our bullet because it looks. Oh, I found it. Oh, it's almost as good as the day it was born. Look, I'm trying to show you. Look at that. It's even got bread in the hollow point. Look here. And that is it. That's our bullet. So, this absolute unit went through two loaves. Went through two loaves and God, excuse noise. Two loaves and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 slices. 21 slices. Two loaves, 21 slices is all it takes to stop a tutu. Now that is science, people. Alrighty, so now, We've got our two jugs of water set up. We've got the uh, GoPro down now for the slow-mo. 
So let's um, see what these do. Let's have a look. Got a little bit of a little bit of splashback on the old GoPro. That's all right. So there was a first. Did it exit? Do it. Yes. Have an exit. There's our entrance. Oh, it went through both. Now, I won't lie, that surprised me. I thought it was going to stop at two. Hence why I only bought two. That may have been a slight oversight on my point of view. I genuinely thought it was stopping two. Um, well, now you know. Don't hide behind two Cravendale milk bottles against 22. It won't end well. Let's go see what we got next. Here we have said pineapple, prickly pear. Um, we're gonna go for two and see if two's enough to stop it. Doubt it will be. I reckon it's just gonna go through and through, but who knows? So, 22 versus two pineapples. Let's find out. So, so, so. Alright. Letting her eat in three, two, one. Bit more exciting now, a little bit more zazz. Let's clear up. Let's go. Yeah. So obviously, it's gone all the way through, and then we have an entrance. Is that an exit? Yeah. It went all the way through. Crikey. These old toe toes, they're like little ballistic missiles. So, there we have it. We uh, now know what a 22 does to those particular items. And also how many loaves of bread you would need to be wearing if you needed some effective body armor against 22. I mean, think. Cheap, lightweight, somewhat bulky, but you know, I think what's three loaves of bread is probably three pound fifty. You know, that's much much cheaper than a ceramic plate, something along those lines. I'm just saying, we might be on the same. We may well be on something. Anyway, that's all we got for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. As usual, um, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch a video, and we will see you on the next one. Be lucky.